Okay, hey y'all, trying something new today. I have been asked a couple of times to do a grocery haul. We only shop one time a month, and my fiance, husband, Anthony, <laughs> basically my husband, anyways, he is on his way home right now, and we had the talk yesterday that we are going to attempt to go grocery shopping today. It has been like in our conversation for like the past week. It's already the seventh of the month and we really prefer to go like the first week of the month. So like this is like the last day that we could have let it like pass. But just to let y'all know, I already have the reusable bags out to the side. I already have my grocery list put together. I use Cozy, not sponsored at all. Um, I just really like how the lists are like super easily shareable. Uh, so we have our little family thing and I have uh, the different locations that we're shopping because we do go to four different locations to get the items that we want uh, because I've done different like price research, health research, but basically we grocery shop at Costco, H-E-B, The Butcher, and an Indian Pakistanian spice store. So we will likely, we'll definitely be hitting Costco and H-E-B at minimum. We might be going to The Butcher and The Spice Store. We could go, we could, we don't really have to go. We can go another month. It would just be to top off on those items for, for the bottom two places, but. Let's get into it. I have no idea how it's gonna go recording somewhere that's not my own home. So I think I saw a method that I kinda like, so we're gonna see how that goes. But into the store we go. So we just left the butcher. This month's butcher haul was super small. We only got two chuck steaks, four beef bacon, and two New York strips. So now we are at Costco doing a little liquor run. We don't get to do the liquor run every single month, but definitely when we can, we can, <laughs> and we do. <laughs> this is actually all footage that my husband, not my now husband, got for me while I was grocery shopping. I don't even know if I realized that he was getting that for me. But as you can see, I am going through the produce section. I always love going through the produce section first because produce really just turns into our snacks. So then after produce, we usually hit up the dairy area to get two packs of eggs. Those eggs come in handy for so many different things. I love making pasta, breakfast burritos, and so 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 much more so these eggs they're gonna get eaten and it's crazy it's only two of us but every month we go through two cartons of those eggs next up is the frozen section um, we like to have smoothies and daiquiris and I also use this blend in um, fruit syrups and stuff like that and then things for cocktails so that's something that we usually end up purchasing every other month and then i always like to have some type of frozen vegetable ready so that i can choose from a fresh or a frozen vegetable because every meal that we have i really strive to have a side of some type of vegetable right now our go-to's are string beans and uh, broccoli. And I don't know if this is like a Costco pro tip, but whenever my husband and I go shopping at, at Costco, he is really big about putting all the barcodes up or easily accessible so that they that they can easily be scanned when we get up to the checkout something else i always get is butter so now i'll switch out butter with either getting actual butter or i'll get heavy cream depending on what i'm trying to make that month the price difference in this little one 
so that's what our Costco haul looks like so now we're just gonna load everything into the vehicle uh, and I also see that we got some of the nice butter and then this haul was $199.49 for everything that we got and we only go to Costco one time a month so now we're gonna go ahead and head over to HEB but before that we actually went to the spice store where we only spent two dollars and ninety eight cents on some garlic powder so it looks like we already got some apples and the next item that I'm getting is some tomatoes uh, we use tomatoes in so many different ways uh, so I always just try to get some fresh tomatoes and then we also keep some tomato sauce and tomato paste in the pantry for use when we don't have fresh tomatoes available. But fresh tomatoes are so much better on the homemade pizzas. I much prefer fresh tomatoes for my curries, fresh tomatoes over most things really. And then next up, I went ahead and got some of these bananas because it is a great snack for my husband when he is headed out the door in the morning. So now I'm going to continue to go through the produce aisle. This is where I feel like I pick up the most individual items. Uh, here I am just going to add in some lemons. Uh, as we have shopped more and more, we use a lot more lemons than this. Um, going forward, we ended up going with the five pound bag of lemons for each month. Um, Cause we just use them, we use them for teas, we use them for, yeah, hot and cold teas. So here I was looking at some celery. Cause I really wanted some celery. I like to use, I like to put celery in tuna, like the canned tuna, but the celery just didn't look good. So I didn't grab it. And then next up was some lettuce. And now I'm coming over to the heartier aisle with my potatoes. I hate, I hate, hate, hate the pla plastic packaging on these um, reset, reset, I don't know, potatoes. But the price lays out cheaper than picking them up individually. And that bothers me, but it bothers me when I'm not able to save money. So I got those larger potatoes because those are really good for baked potatoes and making our fries. And then we also got those smaller new potatoes, which we've also moved away from because neither one of us like processing them, i.e. cutting them up because they're just so small. So we ended up getting potatoes that are in between those two sizes going forward. And then I really wanted some watermelon. I felt like I could make some really good juice, which I did. It was great with cocktails. That's honestly the main way that we use that watermelon juice. <laughs> and watermelon juice just, it makes cocktails taste expensive. I don't know, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. <laughs> So now I am just grabbing though that garlic. We also ended up finding a better deal on garlic at Costco. We were able to get more for a better unit price. And I have a good way to be able to preserve them. So it was a situation that worked out for us. And now we are going to go ahead and move on to the next section of this grocery haul. What I meant to say was so honestly, at this point of the haul, it had got a bit difficult to position the camera and still feel like I'm not taking too much of an L by trying to place the camera because honestly, neither one of us really care to be in the grocery store. So if we can get out quicker, then that's really what we want. So the next thing that I believe I just put in, um, I know I got some cheese. I got some pirouettes. I absolutely love pirouettes. They they have me in a stronghold, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I actually I'm 
doing this voiceover for this is not a lot. I'm doing this voiceover for this much, much later, and I actually don't purchase pirouettes anymore because the price of them is just absolutely insane. So we don't do that anymore. <laughs> and then I also got some sugar. Oh my goodness, this camera is moving so much. We were really trying to figure it out. Really trying to figure it out. We were not getting it figured out. <laughs> But now I am just getting into the dairy aisle and I was able to get those two heavy cream. That was one lump, they got two heavy cream instead of four. Not a good decision for us because we, we had a short shortage and that was not fun. Then we got some sour cream as well. Hey y'all, I am back at home. So we, we just got everything inside. I could do a quick little walkthrough and I'm gonna start putting this stuff in. With us only grocery shopping 12 times a year and it usually being a large quantity of items each time we go, I found it best to just work bag by bag. Um, my husband probably already took care of a good portion of the frozen items. So I just try to go section by section getting out as much stuff as possible and getting items put up properly. Uh, putting them up properly and organizing them from the jump makes it so much easier the time it comes when you want to cook. Because if you can't think about where something is, or for me, if I have to use more than, um, if I have to touch more than one item to, touch, to access the item that I want to get, that's an issue. Because honestly, I only want to touch the specific item that I want to get to if I'm reaching for something, if that makes sense. Um, so put some, put some deep thought into where you wanna put your items so that it makes the most sense for you when you are cooking and when you're baking and when you are wanting to be active in the kitchen. Because all those little extra times that you have to stop and think of, oh, where is this? For me, that's a deterrent. So I want to remove as many cooking deterrents as possible for me because I really want to cook and something can definitely get in the way of me wanting to do that if it is too difficult for me to access my items. So now we're moving over to the fridge and putting away the items that belong in the fridge from the bags that I just opened up. Um, I think it's good for you to attempt to stock your your fridge like a grocery store, mostly in regards to putting your oldest items up front so that they can be used and their, your newest items towards the back so that you can shuffle through them and, and get through your items an adequate amount of time so that you're not having something expire in the back of the fridge when it really should have been closer to the front for you to um, easily access. Let's get it closed for a moment. We usually get a bit more um, heavy cream, but since I got so much butter this month, I found it best to just hold off. And I need to clean some of the produce as well. So now I can go ahead and start getting stuff in the pantry. I absolutely love ginger beer. It's a perfect add. It's a perfect add to our cocktails. And I like to put them in here. So I like to put them down here. 
and we also keep Sprite. Um, but that is just something that we do. And then this hibiscus one, this one's really good. But sometimes I use it just to kind of add the color. I definitely don't need to. Just a nice to have. Then up at the top, I actually keep rice in here. I don't feel like doing much of anything today. So, you know what we're gonna do? exactly what I feel like doing or more so what I have the energy to do so what I am going to do is we have this other rice I'm going to put this all up here We got brown rice and we got white rice and that top technically does not belong right there. So now I just need to refill this flour. So that I can move everything over. And this, just gotta fill it up a little bit more. Ooh. And this is what we got from after. Like this. Like I'm free to make a mess. Okay, not that much of a mess. Not currently. You then I could go ahead and put this away. Take this one down for later. And I can go ahead and put this away in front of the new flower that we have. So as you can see, I really just like to keep everything as simple as possible. Uh, I want things easily accessible and I like to have a backup stock. I have stuff that is going to be easy for me to reach and grab onto while I'm like actively cooking. And I have a baking area, like a baking station, and I have a cooking station. So I think those things are also something to keep in mind just so that you are making the most out of the space that you have. And down here is where I put my yams and potatoes. I don't want to wait any longer to get this in the freezer, so I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff into the freezer. There's also this butter here um, and these here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the freezer. absolutely love this salmon every time we purchase it I feel like its price is like hitting us upside the head but at the same time at the same time if we went to a restaurant the amount that we paid for that entire bag would have only played paid for one plate so it's just like I I get it cool put away the sweets as well. Huh? Okay. 
and she, I don't know how long she's been in there. I put her in a little bit before you got here. The candy, it's definitely, of course, not a need to have, but we definitely like having our store-bought sweets here and there. So this is kind of just like the little spot that we have to splurge, in a sense. So now I'm just putting those last few touches on everything, making sure that I'm cleaning up after myself, doing my best to clean up the kitchen. And at this point, I'm tired and my husband fixed me a drink. <laughs> so we are winding it down. So with that, I would like to say thank you all so much for sticking around. Again, it's Ariel, The Real with Ariel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye, y'all. No.